looking for the best beer glosses of 2021. Our industry experts researched over 30 varieties of glosses, off which we bought and tested nine top options. The shapes, sizes, and specificity of beer glosses available today are exploding along with the craft scene, making the selection a little overwhelming. That's where we come in. With our hands-on and nose and mouths methods, we test these glosses along with a slew of notable brews, from potas to lagas to IPAs. We assess for everything from overall enjoyment and flavor enhancement, down to the more practical aspects of durability and ease of cleaning. Our in-depth evaluations of the best beer glosses available will steer you toward the right gloss for your taste and style. The first product on our list is Rastel Teku 3.0. With curves to die for and an elegance to match, the Rastel Teku captured us from the start. Some may shy away from stemmed beer glosses thinking they are a little too dainty, but we implore you to set aside your preconceived notions and give this gorgeous gloss a spin. The thin rim makes each sip pleasant and allows the focus to be on the beverage, not a thick wall of gloss. The Rastel Teku no doubt gives the highest amount of satisfaction for each beer tested, not only making it the overall tastiest to drink from but all very versatile. We enjoyed Pilsners, Stouts, and IPAs from this gloss that marries a happy drinking experience with pretty much any type of beer you pour into it. If you're into interesting and flavorful brews, this is the gloss to serve them in. We don't shy away from serving our guests a hot cider in this gloss, either. This is a refined gloss that lands decidedly on the craft beer side of the market. It's not the best beer gloss to accompany yard work. Hesitation to pour someone their fifth beer in this gloss is warranted, too. Though the petite design and thin walls do add elegance, it also makes the gloss prone to breakage, an especially worrisome ordeal when trying to get a dish sponge into the dimple in the bottom of the gloss's reservoir. All in all, though, this gloss shows its appreciation for the beer and the beer drinker better than any other we tested. The next product on our list is Kitchen Luxe Pint 2-Pack. This style of gloss has proven itself a survivor. For those who appreciate the classic conical shape and vast versatility of the shaker gloss, but would still like an upgrade from those random glosses collected at brunches, the Kitchen Lux Pint is the choice for you. The thicker wall of this gloss lends itself to daily use, from water to beer to milk. Nobody wants to drink a Bloody Mary out of stem drinkware or an IPA gloss, and this gloss's versatility beyond beer consumption is one of its strengths. There is nothing wrong with being practical, and the durability and ease of cleaning with these glosses make them a great, stackable addition to your collection. Now, if you want the practical type, or if you have a more discerning palette, this may not be your top choice. The lack of beer-centric design leaves something to be desired. Overall, the build quality is excellent, and if you are looking to buy several glosses for a low price, we wouldn't hesitate to snatch up this multi-pack. The next product is Libby Croft Brews Assotted Glosses. Coming from a company started in 1818, the Libby Croft Brews Assotted Glosses set is a quality purchase. Comprised of six different beer gloss styles from around the world, there is something for everyone and nearly every style in this set. All of the glosses feel well made and even. They don't wobble on the table. If you want to dabble with a variety of Croft beers with glosses without spending a lot of money on individual sets, this is a great loophole. Though it is fun to have access to a wide variety of glosses, if your taste for brews is more concentrated, you might want to invest in a particular set. Some testers felt like they would really only use a few of the glosses in the set with any regularity, leaving the others to take up cabinet space. And though this specific set does not match the seller's image, all the styles advertised are there, well made and ready to be enjoyed. If you want variety in your beer gloss selection, this is the multi-pack we recommend first. The next product is Chef Captain Dimple Stein. The robust feel of the Chef Captain Dimple Stein harkens to a time and place where beer was swiftly consumed, then the gloss slammed down to the table with authority. It takes one tough mug to pull off such a feat over and over again. Though all of the glosses we tested survived a sideways topple, this was the only gloss that made us feel comfortable with enthusiastic chias. It survives thanks to its bulky construction. The dimples in the gloss help refract light, better illuminating beer and showing off its tempting color. Not only an aesthetic choice, but the dimples in the mug are extremely handy for a nice grip while hand washing. With four built to loss beer mugs in this fairly priced set, there's a lot of value here, too. 
so it can take a tumble, looks awesome, and is easy to wash. Does that make it an excellent beer glass? That depends on who you are. If you are dead set on tasting more delicate notes and specialty brews, this isn't the model for you. This design is for the chug, not the smug. For those who prefer a beer hall to a croft bottle shop, the Chef Captain Dimple Stein will fit right into your kitchen cabinet. The next product in our list is Luxu 20 Ounce Pint. If you've ever been out for a drink across the pond, chances are you've come across this style of drinkware at the pub. American bars and breweries tend to favor the shaker gloss over the pub pint, which makes this model feel unique and well-traveled. The bulge was meant to keep stacked glosses from sticking together and to save the lip from chipping slash nicking, hence the nickname Nanik. The bulge also allows for more beer surface area to interact with the air when tipped, which seems to open the beer back up with each tilt. This adds added sensory experience, mostly in the nose. Altogether, the Luxu 20 ounce pint is a great value for those wanting to get away from the mundane shaker. Though some may love the larger size of this gloss compared to American pints, it could be intimidating to others, especially those particular about how a typical 12 ounce can looks in this gloss. One other thing to mention is a slight wobble that came with one of the glosses. The bottom of these glosses are non-recessed, so if the bottom isn't perfectly level, wobbles ensue, as we witnessed. If that isn't a deal breaker, then we would consider these a great alternative to your standard American pint. The next product in our list is Spiegelau Ipa Croft Beer Set. Some like it hoppy, and for those who do, they is the Spiegelau Ipa Croft Beer Set. These glosses are just as beautiful as they are complementary to the style of beer they are built to deliver. They are shaped channels the aromatics IPAs are known for straight to your nose, making these glosses a treat for your senses. Constructed from durable and high-quality gloss, these glosses hit the mock and more. In fact, we noticed a palpable advantage to these over its competitors. The head was slow building yet very present, and the balance between the heavier bottom pay as well with a full gloss. If you aren't into IPAs, we recommend pausing on this set. Though you may be able to enjoy other styles from these glosses, the facts that they don't stack well in your cupboard and are quite hard to clean with a conventional sponge make other models a better choice. But for those who take their IPAs seriously, this is a great addition to your arsenal. The next product in our list is Brimley Pilsner Glosses Set. Some say the true test of a good brewery is its ability to craft a fine pilsner. Such a clean and refined style deserves a beautifully thought out gloss to match. Enter the Brimley Pilsner Glosses Set. This attractive set of four with spiraling nucleation tickles the senses in a way others can leave flat. Easy to grip and surprisingly strong for their tall stature, these glosses are even rated strong slash safe enough to put in your freezer, if you're into that. Though the Brimley Pilsner gloss set may reign king in the Pilsner and light beer game, it is still a rather style-specific gloss. It just felt wrong pouring a stout into this gloss to our test as with a beer industry education. We also found some blemishes in the gloss walls, which is especially a bummer for drinkware meant to display light-colored beer. The glosses do not stack and can be hard to clean manually. But if light beers, especially pilsners, are your jam, this is a pretty nice set. The next product in our list is Libby Pint 2 Pack. What do you get when you combine the inviting and familiar shape of a beer can and a classic pint gloss? The Libby Pint 2 Pack. While this seems like a mere novel idea, these beer glosses do bring something new and enjoyable to the table. The gloss looks like it would be more awkward to drink out of than it is. In fact, we found its thin lip more enjoyable than drinking out of the shake as we tested. The beveled lipping on the gloss and smaller opening makes sipping quite easy and dribble free. Also more, the craftsmanship is quite good on this quirky pair. There are a couple of downsides to these glosses, at least when comparing to our other subjects. The small mouth opening can make it hard to give them a good cleaning, especially for larger hands. Also, although the Libby Pint 2 pack feels well balanced, the thin nature of the gloss may prove more prone to breakage over time. In all, though not our favorite glosses, we were pleasantly surprised by their charm and easy drinkability for most styles. This cup stands out for being different, which is refreshing on its own. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, 
be sure to check them out.